Okay, this video is about uh, renal ultrasound. It's a poem. And this video is mostly like a joke for persons who work with kidney ultrasound, which is going to be, you know, kidney doctors. Urologists is the surgery branch. They're always looking for kidney stones. Internal medicine gets tons of patients in kidney failure, and they want to exclude obstruction due to stones or tumor adenopathy, for example, lymphadenopathy. So this is not going to be nutrition or academics or anything. This is more like a joke to make my friends laugh. All right, so first of all, just here's the anatomy. Basically, here's the kidneys up here, right kidney, left kidney. These are the ureters. The ureter connects the, urinary, the kidney to the urinary bladder. The urine passes down from the kidney, and then in a pulsatile contractile, like peristalsis motion, the, ure, the urine sh uh, shoots into the bladder, and it's called a ureteral jet as it shoots in. And we spend a lot of time looking for these ureteral jets because when the urine jets into the urinary bladder, then we know the ureter is open. So we know that kidney is not obstructed by either stones or by cancer or enlarged lymph nodes, for example. So we'll sit on top of that bladder and watch that for five, seven, ten minutes at a time, waiting for that ureteral jet um, when we do these kidney ultrasounds. So anyways, I was waiting on one of these, and I had just read a whole bunch of poetry lately, and, it was, and I had this idea, all these different poems, I put parts of them together, and I, it sounds like a story of, of uh, one of these kidney ultrasounds. So here it is. Five years have passed with the length of five long Doppler scans, and again I hear these waters rolling from their mountain kidneys with a soft inland murmur. Break, break, break on thy cold gray prostate OP, and I would that I could utter the thoughts that arise in me. And what about the post void? To void or not to void, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to face the squirms and groans of outrageous BPH or to get a terp. Water, water, nowhere, and the phallus did shrink. Water, water, nowhere, not even a plink. O oh, peristaltic wave, wherefore art thou? These are the times that try men's bladders. More gel, more gel, let's take another look. But soft. What light on yonder Doppler window breaks? Oh, trumpets of prophecy. If your reader jets are here, can spring be far behind? What's this? The sonographer's gel has activated the wrong pipes. A happy ending all the same. Yay. Okay, so anyways, uh, just real quick to summarize where all this comes from. Tintern Abbey by William Wordsworth. This is um, from Alfred Lord Tennyson, the poem about his friend. Uh, what about the poise fight? To void or not to void, of course, that's Hamlet. To be or not to be. Um, and then here's his long soliloquy. Uh, water, water, nowhere, of course, that's from The Rhyme of the Ancient, Ancient Mariner by uh, Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Uh, these are the times of try men's bladder. That's obviously Thomas Paine from Common Sense. Um, more gel, more gel, it's taking a look. We say that all the time. But soft light on yonder window uh, breaks. That's a Doppler is to see the jet moving. But of course, that's Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. O oh, Trumpets of Prophecy, If Your Readle Jets a Hurricane Spring Be Far Behind, Ode to the West Wind by Piercy Bish Shelley. So anyways, hope that was fun.